live here in Central Valley, California tonight in the Valley that Hope for God. Farms in this once fertile area have been dried up all because the government has put the interests of a two-inch minnow before all of the great people that you see out here tonight. And Congressman, you told me they're backed up nine miles. They can't get in here. Uh, and it's time to turn the water back on, bring jobs back to this great area. And joining me now are three men who are determined to make that happen. California Congressman George Rodanovich, Devin Nunez, and Jim Costa. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you. I want to show you guys something here. Then I'm going to show the crowd. This is what this comes down to. No water for the farmers because of this fish. Is that what it is, this fish here? what it is. Sean. So a lot of people ask, what can we do? All your viewers all over the country. Yeah. And what I want to make sure that people understand is we're at the center of this. We're so close to the Bay Area. The liberals and the radical environmental groups have been working on this for decades. Mm -hmm. They've been trying to turn this into a desert, and now they've succeeded. And what's important about you being here tonight and the rest of your viewers need to understand is this can happen to you. They're right. on their way. Nancy Pelosi is the Speaker of the House. George Miller's who, her lieutenant. They're on their way to the rest of America. So what can you do? What can the American people watching the show tonight do? We had seven attempts in the Congress this year, this summer, to try to get these pumps turned back on permanently. Seven attempts, and every single time, the Speaker of the House killed those attempts. Every time. One of the things... We're going to have Governor Schwarzenegger on early, later in the program tonight. Now, he tried to work with the Interior Secretary Salazar, who came out here, and then they, said they ended up sending him a letter basically scolding him. There seems to be one, in the Endangered Species Act of 1978, there seems to be one provision called the God Squad that right. can intercede if an economic emergency is called. Right. Explain that process. The president, under the authority of the Endangered Species Act, can convene a God squad and say this that little fish can go extinct for the sake of the economy the administration refuses to do it and uh, so they, they will be drugged kicking and screaming trying to get those pumps back on and yeah. that's why you being here is so important and for us to keep raising this issue to force them to do it I understand congressman as many as 38 million people are impacted in total here and that means if for example the owner of the farm he's impacted for obvious reasons the rest of the country we don't get the produce that is produced here and how many jobs are lost in the process well absolutely Sean and we want to thank you for being here the fact of the matter is is that we have a water system that was designed for 20 million people we have 38 million people living in California and this is part of the problem we've got a situation where 125,000 gallons of ammonia is being dropped into the Delta this is the primary cause of killing those fish the fact of the matter is Senator Feinstein and I have asked the Secretary of Interior to take a reconsultation process on the biological opinion because it doesn't take into account the 20, 125,000 gallons of ammonia that's been there. My family's been farming in this valley for three generations. I'm farming today. Without water, this valley's a desert. Yes, it is. Through. You mentioned earlier, Congressman. You mentioned you mentioned earlier, Congressman, the idea that you know you brought this seven separate times to Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi is is in California. Certainly, she could see what's happening. This area is getting burned out. She, you know, I would think that this is one of these issues where you really could find bipartisan agreement. Why is because, why is she not because the daughter? radical environmental movement started in the Bay Area, and so what you have is that you have this movement that's been going on for decades. And they control the Democratic Party. That's the problem here. And, and that's why I want to warn people, this can happen somewhere else. The point that I like to, to make, yeah. nowhere in the world does a democracy, has a democracy ever starved its own people of water. You know what country does that? Zimbabwe does that. And these people, you know, I want to tell just a little story. When I was a kid, we used to go lay down in the flower goes nice and cool. We come into work. Just a couple weeks ago, I was out here in Mendota. There were growing men at 3 o'clock in the afternoon sleeping in their flower beds to stay cool. You know why? There's no, they can't afford to turn their electricity on. Yeah. So now you've cut off their water and you cut off their electricity. You've got 40,000 people without jobs. Let's, let's talk specifically, Congressman. What is the next step? I mean, because I know people here have been fighting for a long time. I know the governor's made every appeal possible. Yeah. What, what, what can happen next? Or 
do these farms go dry? Do these generations of farmers get thrown off the land that they've cultivated all these Sean, years? Sean, behind you is a letter signed by 52 of the mayors in the valley representing over 3 million uh, citizens. A letter to the president inviting him to come out to the valley and visit firsthand on the ground to see the devastation of this uh, reckless endangered species act. We think that if he were able to come out here and see this, he could provide the impetus in the, in the administration to make these changes and get the pumps flowing. You know, you know, and I got to say something, and I know this will seem controversial. What a shock! Um, but you know, so th this is almost like we talked about death panels with health care. This is the death panel for farming. Sean, let, let me say this. Water, yeah, let me tell you. And, and this, if farmers yeah. don't have water, they can't do their jobs and any longer. Let me tell you this. You know how we're overly dependent on foreign countries for our oil? Yeah. It's going to happen the same with food because the Endangered Species Act and radical environmentalists are going to shut farming down. We're going to be relying on other countries to provide our food. So we're going to import, even good. though we have the most fertile ground in the world, we're going to be importing literally the groceries. This will be a dust bowl. We're at ground zero here. We're yeah. at ground zero here. The two critical in, uh, issues in the 21st century are energy and water. Water is now being sacrificed here. The farmers and the farm workers are being impacted. I've got 30, 40 percent unemployment in run. my district here. Congressman. We, we appreciate your support. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. And coming up, actor Alan Autry and our own Ainsley Earhart will be here to help tell us why and explain in all the detail why this crisis will affect every single solitary family in America. I'm also going to talk live. California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's going to tell us his efforts, what he's doing, and what impact hopefully he can have on this important cause. Straight ahead. Woo!